So our next author on my left, we're going to switch sides of the table now, is William Porter. He is the author of inspirational books based on biblical principles that may be applied to life, the life experiences of those who are willing to share their stories and who believe that God has intervened some way in their lives. Dr. Porter was inspired to become an author due to his interest in biblical topics and his experience in professional writing as a college professor. He is a proponent of critical thinking in science education and promotes this concept as an effective means for learning and retaining information in the classroom as well as in everyday life. Good evening. Good evening. Again, my name is William Porter. I'm the author who writes inspirational books that are spiritually focused and biblically based. I write about the experiences that people have that unusual, extraordinary, and sometimes even miraculous. Uh, to date, I've written four books. Uh, Life in the Spirit is a non-fictional work uh, about the experiences that people have that they believe were <coughs> divinely, divinely inspired. Uh, and uh, my third book uh, is my second uh, non-fictional book, uh, Miracles in the Lives of Ordinary People. It was published just one year uh, ago, uh, September of 2018. And uh, it is about people who, again, believe that God had inspired uh, their experiences. And, uh, but in addition to the non-fictional uh, books, I've also written two fictional novels. Uh, Heaven Can't Wait uh, was published in uh, July of 2017. And uh, my most recent book uh, that was published just this past August of 2019, Heaven Can't Wait, the sequel. I'm very excited about that. But my reading tonight will come from Miracles in the Lives of Ordinary People, my third book. And basically it's about a family of three, uh, Jason, uh, Lily, husband, wife, Terry Lily, and daughter, Jessica Lily, and they were on their way to a church event. And uh, unfortunately, they had a terrible accident in which Jason was severely injured. And, uh, but miraculously, he got through that injury. Uh, but the reading that I will do tonight will involve daughter Jessica. Uh, Jessica and her mother, Terry, were not injured uh, very much in this particular accident. And, but Jessica attended college about four or five weeks later, and she developed her own situation as far as having to overcome. And that's uh, what my, or where my reading will start from tonight. So uh, it's very good to be with you. My website is williamporterlife.com if you'd like more information. Thank you again. In that first segment, I didn't mention how I became an author, but I will tell you how this reading uh, from the second, uh, the first chapter in Miracles in the Lives of Ordinary People came about. Me and my wife were going to the state fair about four or five years ago, I believe, and uh, we were sitting near the front of the bus and we were listening to this couple talk about their experience of uh, their going to this church event with their daughter. And of course, they had the accident. and. Uh, the husband was uh, severely injured, he came through, but the daughter had some other issues later on when she went to college. And so that's where the story that uh, I will be reading from, chapter one, which is entitled The Collision, in the uh, my third novel or book, uh, Miracles in the Lives of Ordinary People. After leaving class one day, Jessica noticed a lump on her wrist, which continued to grow to the point of being very uncomfortable. The tension in that area of her body caused a soreness that she had never experienced before. Not only that, but the appearance of the lump was unsightly, to the point where her friends began to look at her in a strange manner. And most of them gradually drifted away. Within a short period of time, 
The friends she had hung out with were all gone. Several weeks had passed when Jessica finally called her mother to get some guidance on her health situation. Once on the phone with her, Jessica told Terry, her mother, about her risk and said that she wanted to do something about it before coming home for the school break, which would occur in about a week. Jessica talked with Terry about what was going on with her body and as well as with her spirit because she felt that she was on the verge of becoming really depressed about the situation. While still very young, Jessica knew the value and effectiveness of prayer. After all, she saw how prayer worked for her father as he recovered from the accident they had. So she asked her mother to say a prayer on her behalf so that her problem with the growth on her wrist would be healed. The next day, she went to the infirmary and saw a doctor. After a brief examination of the lung, he indicated that it was a growth known as a ganglion cyst, which is common to some people and that she did not have anything to worry about. So Jessica left the infirmary encouraged and within the next few days, the lump seemed to have gotten smaller and smaller. Jessica was thankful that she had gone to the doctor to determine what the problem was and she had done that only after she had talked on the phone with her mother. Yes, Terry had encouraged her daughter to see the doctor at her school and to get examined before coming home for a break. Shortly after that, the lump was gone altogether. Yes, like her father weeks earlier, Jessica had felt the hand of God in her life. Thank you.